Video check. Okay, mic check complete. And <clears throat> this is Taiwan special of the week, episode one. It's been a day. I I had to go take some time away uh, from the podcast and go deal with stuff because I'm doing health. I just I got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, hold on, I need some of this coffee here. Hmm. That's not bad. You know, um, I had a business guy tonight really give me a hard sell push uh, to try to get me to at no charge. I mean, like at no, no charge, no pay, no nothing, all by myself. Go to his factory and learn how his factory works. And I found out that he has a training book. The problem is it's all in Chinese. Now, listen, there's a lot of details that I am not filling in here. Um, if you know the full details of the story or even half of them, you know that I'm, I, you, you might not even recognize what I'm talking about. But I'm, I'm, I'm giving you enough of the story so that you know what's going on with me, but not so that I give away other people's information. I'm, I'm good with information. I, I don't give away other people's information. I'm very, very big on that. So this guy wants me to go to his factory and I looked at the whole thing and I was like, you know what? A lot of people would have to pay money to find out what this guy's going to let me go to his factory and do free. The thing is, I don't have the time to do it right now, but he kept giving me the sales. Like, you got to do this. You got to, you know, you got to do it. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. But I just had to have a way to, to, a way to make it happen. And I'm tired and I'm talking kind of uh, strangely because I'm tired. But all day long, I've been busy with stuff, and that's one guy that I was busy with, and I had to go away, and that's why I'm doing this late, and we'll see how this goes. But this week, I actually made it up to Mount Jade, and I think I'm going to talk about Mount Jade. I need to go through what the journey's like, but before I do that, <clears throat> hold on, more coffee. Mm. Dude, I'm, I'll tell you. I am so exhausted from my trip up to Mount Jade. Right now, I'm feeling lightheaded, and I've got, I've got to do this. I'll do this. I'll do I'll do fine. I'll pull through. But I've got to do this now because I won't have time later. Um, all day Sunday, I spent coding, getting some computer code stuff worked out. Um, the other guys that we went up to the mountain with are like, "Show us pictures. We want to see your pictures." Okay, all right. We'll do. I'll just talk about pictures. But um, I, I want to just, I, I just, I want to give you a perspective first on something China said this week in the news. And I didn't put this into the symphony editorials. And I just, this is a little, I'll, I'll try to throw this in there as fast as I can and then get to, to the Mount Jade thing. Apparently, China has gone to Canada and, you know, in, in Canada, this Huawei executive, this, 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 the daughter of the founder or something like that, she got arrested in Canada and then she might be extradited to the United States because it's the United States that has a problem. The only reason she was arrested in Canada is because Canada has extradition with the United States. So the Canadians, the, the Canucks got her. And the thing is, see, and it was smart what Canada did. I was here in Tainan. Uh, when the speaker of the house, the speaker of city council, not house, it's, it's, he's a speaker. It's like, it's like a house. It's like a, it's like a, it, it's like a state level government. The speaker from the KMT party won the speakership when, when the KMT was the minority and the dominating party was the DPP, the opposition party. That, 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 that'd be like having, uh, a bunch of Democrats running your state legislature and then a Republican becomes the Speaker of the House of the State Legislature. That, that'd be like all Republicans dominating a... Re no, 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 no. We'll put, put, pull this around. It'd be like... You know how Nancy Pelosi is going to be the Speaker of the House once the Democrats take over Congress in the, the House in uh, January or whatever? Okay. 
Well, imagine if um, uh, the, the, the Democrats went into Congress and imagine if uh, M- McCarthy, the Republican, became the speaker and, and the Democrats elected the Republican. It'd be like, what is going on? Right, right. It'd be like, what's... And so there, that happened at the city level where I am. And there was evidence of vote buying and there were actually legal proceedings going against him for having bought votes. And while the proceedings were going against him, he was caught at the airport with eight suitcases and a one-way ticket to China. And he said he was just going there for a quick visit. Right. That's Chinese culture. This is not about Chinese nation, Chinese government, Chinese um, citizenship. This is about this Asian, this lying Asian culture. So, Running away, uh, yeah, that's a thing. And so when Canada gave her this high bail and her, she had to have several friends put up a large amount of money for her and she had to be at home at night and wear a tether and all that stuff as a condition of bail, like that was smart. It has, there's a long history of that kind of thing being necessary. Okay, well, all this is happening in Canada for now. Eventually she may be extradited to the United States. Um, in the meanwhile, two Canadians, uh, were stopped in China. It's clear and obvious retribution. China's not even trying to say otherwise or cover it up, or they're not even ashamed of this. It's just, it's just, it's just they went after two Canadians. I think both of them named Michael or something. I like, like, it's really weird. It's, it's like, why did you choose these two random Canadians in China to go after? Okay, well, it's clearly retribution against this, this other, this other girl, um, th- this this Huawei executive that was arrested in Canada. Okay, here's here's the lesson I want to give you with all this. Justin Trudeau, the the Prime Minister in Canada tried to explain to China's government that they can't just ask him to get her out of the courts or out of prison because the courts are supposed to remain independent of the executive branch. You're supposed to have, the courts are supposed to do their court thing. An executive branch was the executive thing. The courts are not under the executive branch. It don't work that way. The Chinese don't believe him. They think he's just making this up or if that law exists, it's just some cop out because they really believe. And this, this is my point with this. The Chinese really believe that Canada arrested the Huawei executive just arbitrarily, randomly, for no reason. Whatever laws she supposedly broke, they've already got laws making everything that everyone does illegal everywhere, because that's what they do in China. And they just randomly picked this to, to get back at them. They're doing this to spite China. That's what they really think in China. And when China, er, when uh, Canada's prime minister says... Look, I can't just pull her out of jail. That's that's court legal system. I'm executive branch. It's, it's, it's judiciary is different. China doesn't believe it because in China, everything is controlled by what the heck ever the leader in charge wants that morning or afternoon. So, anyhow, that's that's just a little insight to what's going on, and that that really stuck out to me. It's like, that's right. China doesn't believe him. They really don't. They really, really don't. Okay, well, um, so this week I went up uh, to Jade Mountain, or Mount Jade, I suppose. They, they, they say it's, it's Yushan. Yushan is uh, Yu is Jade and Shan is Mountain. So Yushan. So I went up to Jade Mountain or Mount Jade. Um, and oh. Uh, uh, we're out of we're out of time for today. Okay, I'll get I'll I'll start up right up with Jay when we get to the next episode tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Next episode.